So I ordered this laptop for a few purposes. When I ordered it and when I was when I was researching different laptops, I needed my philosophy it used to be a mobile workstation with the power of a decent desktop so I can do video editing, photo editing, and then if I wanted to on the go, have a little bit of gaming. George does not like gaming on laptops. Laptop gaming is just uh you know, it's gonna get too hot, he says. It's too hot, you know, and there's actually a lot of truth to that. But in any case, I just wanted it to be an all-around really good performer. So, the laptop I wound up settling with is the HP Omen. Now, it comes in two versions, the 15 and the 17 inch, and because I needed the portability, I got the 15. Now, I really like the specs that the 17 offered, so what ultimately wound up happening was I had to get some custom specifications, so it took a long time in order to get here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this opened up. So, just tape along the bottom there, this is what the unboxing experience is. And then what it looks like is we have some HP Worldwide telephone numbers in case I forget how to use my laptop. And a little, uh, Cool grid style. Wow. Maybe they provided this to like, I don't know, for your like really long gaming sessions for your yeah, ass to sit on. Yeah, I was gonna say it. it what it does is it helps <laughs> your lower back. Oh, and it makes me look less short. So then it looks like it's all wrapped in plastic here. This oh. is what it looks like. Nothing underneath this. We'll go ahead and pop that guy back in there. But it looks like there's a little module of power cords and extra accessories. All done with that. Yeah, the Omen logo. Oh, dude, that looks actually hella badass. I love the matte black. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a faux carbon fiber finish. Faux, faux carbon fiber. Whatever that means. It means it's fake. It's not real. Here, feel huh. that. It's just like a soft touch. Fingerprint magnet. It's a fingerprint magnet or something? Oh, yeah, dude, check this out. Hmm. Oh, maybe my hands are clean. <laughs> But I don't think that's gonna stay clean for very long. Sorry, Cam. <laughs> oh yeah, see right there already. Come on, man. I just got it! And uh, let's see if it even turns on. See if there's any battery life in it. Oh, sweet. Looks like it's got some juice from the factory. Oh, you got the blue screen of death, bro. Oh no, it's already broken from the factory! So I am so excited to finally have this as I've been waiting for weeks. I had custom ordered it, so there's just a few things that are above the base level, base model. First of all, I had to have a 4K display because I have my photo and my video editing, and having that extra bit of resolution is absolutely imperative. Additionally, because I'm a night owl working in the dark, I had to have the backlit keyboard though that came with it. It also has 12 gigs of RAM because eight just is not enough for me. <laughs> And then additionally, what I'm really excited about is this new 2017 model has the i7 7700 HQ processor, the KB Lake by Intel that everyone's been talking about, and the Pascal architecture, which is super, super great. I'm really excited to see how it handles a lot of photo and the video editing. Additionally, just because I'm a nerd, I really like being able to game on my laptops. Though George does not like gaming on laptops. Oh, I don't. Just because they get too hot, I don't think it's gonna be an issue of not doing anything major. It's got plenty of fans and vents. It's got like two or three of them in there. I just hope they put the thermal paste on correctly. Oh my god. <laughs> but in any case, it has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti video card with four gigs of GDDR5 RAM. So I'm really excited to see how this guy performs because I'm going to be going to California getting some incredible memories, some incredible photos, and incredible videos that we'll be bringing onto the channel. And this is going to be my mobile workstation, my best friend during the entire trip. Yo, that fucking sucked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and side note. What the heck is up with these giant chunky chargers? Look at the size of that. If you need a reference, this is a MacBook charger. This is what comes with my laptop. What's going on with these companies? Look at how elegant of a solution this is. You have these little dongles here. It wraps, the cord wraps around just like that. These guys flip down and it's very small and compact. You can fit it in a backpack no matter what the size is. This, you have like a 10 pound weight in your bag and then it's jamming into all your luggage and just that little bit of extra storage that can be valuable equipment like a phone charger, things like that if you're working with tight bags and tight spaces. Contrary to the difference in the sizes of the charger, I'm really impressed how much they fit inside this laptop despite how thin its profile is. 
I'll go ahead and we'll grab a 13 inch MacBook for reference. While you can still fit the MacBook in the shadow of the HP Omen, you get so much more real estate and hardware physically inside. And on top of that, it's not even that much thicker. Anyways, that's just my opinion. I think it's, uh, it's gonna be a very good solution for me being able to fit this when I'm traveling, when, I'm, when I need it to be portable, which is exactly why I didn't get the 17 inch model. Though, I do still enjoy the portability and size difference of these Macs much more. Now, there are just a few things that I wasn't too impressed with upon my initial inspection of this laptop. One of them would be kind of the more plasticky build quality. Now, ultimately, you get what you paid for. I spent about $1,400 on this, but check out the screen flex. Are you ready? Yeah, dude, that's sketchy. I know, I feel, I feel bad just doing that. Whereas, I really, really love the finishes of these Apple products here, where, where's the screen flex? There's none, it's a nice anodized aluminum display, really, really, really rigid in comparison to this flexi HP Open laptop. But that's what you get with plastic, and ultimately, this has much more hardware. It's gonna be better for cooling to have it all in plastic and being able to make all these cuts and slits and everything. So, it's a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> so, just to reiterate kind of why I purchased the laptop is ultimately to create media and have my mobile workstation because I have a Windows desktop at home and I know that a lot of times in the opinion of other people, Macs, Apple based OS's are much better for creating media because of all the software optimization. But I'm gonna leave all that up to George because I have always just really loved Windows and everything that you can come with. Additionally, I like being able to have the flexibility of gaming and everything else. Ultimately, I hope that this performs beyond my expectations because I'm going to be taking this guy to California and making some incredible memories, making some incredible videos, and making some incredible photos that I can hopefully bring to the channel. Hey, if you just clicked on this video just to see this laptop, consider subscribing because I need subscribers and that'd be really awesome. If you liked the video, <laughs> go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to reach out and, and kind of see if I can get those answered for you. In any case, stay tuned because once I get back, we'll be posting a full review on my impressions and my opinion of the HP Omen.